When I was asked by Teachers TV to present a masterclass in maths, I chose to teach a lesson about equations. My students are Year 9s from two North London schools. Uh, this one I've got in mind, two of the sides, I want them to be uh, 20 metres longer than the third. What sort of triangle would that be? Isosceles. Good. Do you know why it's isosceles? Yeah, because uh, two, two of the lengths are equal and the other one is not equal to the other two. Absolutely brilliant. OK. So, Melanie and Esther, could you just put your clipboards down? What I want us to do is make a plan of this triangle. Now, I want the base to be... Ooh. So long, sir. Thank you very much. I'm going to call the base of the triangle X. OK? What does X stand for? A variable. A variable. So it could be any number. But we do know now, hopefully, we can come up with expressions for these two lengths. What have you got for those two, Ben? X plus 20 for each one. Right, then. Let's write down, then an expression for the length of railings I will need for this triangular play area. You've got it. Brilliant. Can you tell me what you've got, Isabel? 3x plus 40. 3x plus 40. So we add up the x's, is 3x's, and this 20 plus 20 is 40. Keep those two terms separate. 3x plus 40. Can we simplify that expression? No, no we can't. OK. Now, another play area. Hmm, two more volunteers. OK. This time, I want a square play area. So could you just set up a square play area uh, somewhere over here? Yeah, nice big square. Oh, uh, could you make it double that length of that line there, roughly? Brilliant, that's pretty good, actually. I like that. OK. And finish that off. So just make it look roughly like a square coming down here, yeah? Brilliant. So how long did I say each length of this square was, guys? Double x. Double the base two, of the triangle. Two x. Two x. Now we've got a square play area. What's the length of each side of the square play area? Two x. Two x. So can we come up with an expression for the length, the total length of railings required for this play area? Eight. What did we get, Clint? Eight x. Eight x. Brilliant. Two expressions, two play areas, and we want a set of railings around each play area. Did I tell you I want the same length of railings around each play area? I can feel an equation coming on. <laughs> so we've got an expression for the railings required for the triangle. We've got an expression for the railings required for the square, and we know that they're equal. I have. Now then, would you like to write your equation on the board? You'd love to, wouldn't you? OK. Um. Right then, Sabina's equation is... What have we got? 3x plus 40 equals 8x. What do we need to do to both sides. Anyone got it? Um, yes? Put, um, put the x's on one side and the normal numbers on one side. Oh, I see. Right, I see. So what we're trying to do is get, if you like, rid of this 40, are we? Um, get rid of the 3x and then put it to the other side. We can get... Ah, oh, we're getting rid of the 3x. Oh, I see. Right, so you mean if we take 3x away from this side, whatever we do to the left-hand side, you must be to the right hand side. Good, brilliant. So take away 3x on the left hand side. What's left? 40. 40? Equals? 8. 40 equals? 8x minus 3x. 8x eight minus 3x. So 40, keep going. 40 equals? 5x. Good. So x equals? 8. 8. eight. We have a solution to this equation. How much, how, what's the length of railings I need to buy to put around this square? 64. Okay, why 64? X equals 8. X equals 8 and? 8 times 8 equals 64. 8 times 8 equals 64. So we need 64 metres round here. So do we need 64 round here? Yeah. 
let's just check it works. If x equals 8, OK, is it working? 3 times eight. equals 24. 24 plus 40? 64. 64. So this would end up being 8. How long would these two sides be? 28. 28. 28. Does it all add up to 64? Yes. yes. Brilliant. I love that about maths because it all adds up. Hey, hello again. Hello. Well, I want to plant some flowers. Now, I've got a bit of a problem, actually, because I want one of my flower beds to be a rectangular flower bed. The width has got to be five metres less than the length. And I want an area of soil of 66 square metres. So I want to know how long my flower bed needs to be and how wide it needs to be. I tell you what. I'll just move the flowers over here. We've got the flowers, we've got the flower bed, and how much area of soil have I got? I've got, can anyone remember? 66, 66. thanks for reminding me. OK, so, um, I'm going to let my length this time be x. OK? The length's going to be x, so you might want to just jot that little diagram down onto your pads. The length has got to be 5 metres more than the width. What expression can I write down for the width? If the width is 5 less than the length, let's say, Esther. X minus 5. X minus 5 is the width. Right, then. Hey, I feel an equation coming on. Woo! But this is a more difficult equation. What you need to do now is think about what we've got. To get the area of a rectangle, we do length. Of course we do. So, x times... X minus and that will equal... 66. Write that down. OK. What have we got over there, Rena? Would you like to write that down on the board? What you wrote on your pad? I quite like what Rena's written. A lot of you have written something similar. OK, if you just stand back, let everyone see. We've got x. What's this symbol, Rena? Uh, times. Didn't we say goodbye to that a long time ago? Yeah. 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 Should we get rid of that? Doesn't matter. It's not wrong. It looks better. So x, open bracket, x minus 5 equals 66. Most of you have got that. Has anyone got the next line? Uh, Isabel? x squared minus 5x equals to 66. Brilliant. x squared minus 5x equals 66. Mmm. Let's have a look what's on the right-hand side. We've got 66, and I want zero. What are we going to do to the 66? Minus it. Minus the 66. Well, what we do to one side... We do to the other. Absolutely, so take away 66 from both sides, see what you get. This is more like it. Whoa, yeah. That's looking good. We've got a nice quadratic equation. OK. Mitchell, read out what you got x squared minus 5x minus 66 equals zero. OK, thank you very much. OK, if you want to sit down, Rena, we'll just write this down more clearly then. So we've got x squared minus 5x minus 66 equals zero. Now then, to solve this equation, we need to find a value of x that make this equation work. We need to factorise the equation. Can you say that again? We need to factorise the equation. What do you mean by factorise, Yusuf? Put it into bracket. Now, do you know what? OK, even though Yusuf can't put his name badge on the right way round, <laughs> he's very, very good at maths because he's talking about factorising. Come with me, because I might need your help. This is getting a bit tricky. OK? We need to factorise. Let's move this barrow out of the way for a minute. There you go. Right then, so up we go to the, to the board. Factorise. Are you, so how many brackets? How many sets of brackets? Two. Two sets. Go for it. So. Two nice big sets of brackets. Oh, yeah, nice and big. Good. Right, then. OK, so we're going to factorise it. It's going to be a double bracket factorisation. So there's x on each. Good. Can you use curly x? Because you know what I'm like with that yeah. straight x. It's all right. I'm a bit fussy. OK, nice and curly. Nice and curly x, OK. Curly x. Oh, I see, because everything in this bracket, each of the two terms in this bracket, 
has to multiply each of the two terms in that. So one of the terms is going to be x times x, isn't it? Which is x squared. Right. Any ideas for the other numbers? Any ideas at all? Something that times into minus 66 and something that adds up to get minus 5. Brilliant. We need two numbers, exactly, Clint, two numbers that multiply to minus 66 and add to minus 5. What are those two numbers? Oh, minus 11 and 6. Minus 11 and 6. Shall we just write it out more neatly? Minus 11 and 6. Do your nice X's again. Minus 11 and 6. Is he right? Yeah. Is Millie Moe right? Yeah. 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 Minus 11. Write it down. I'm getting quite excited. This could be an answer. We could have found the answer. And plus 6. Let's just check that. So you're saying that, well, oh, yeah, a minus times a plus is a minus. So minus 11 times 6 is... Minus 66, isn't it? Minus 66. OK? And we've also got minus 11 times x, minus 11x, and then we've got plus 6x, which gives us minus 5x. It's going up from minus 11x, isn't it? Up to minus 5x. Brilliant. So we've solved the problem. How have we? Factorised it. Any other eye? We've got an answer. Go on. Find the two solutions. How do we do that? By x. Go for it. X. Curly x. Yeah. X minus 11 equals 0. And x oh, plus 6 equals 0. So you're saying that either this number has to be 0 or that number has to be 0 yeah. to make the whole thing 0. Is that right? Because anything times by zero is? Zero. zero. All right. So now we've got two linear equations. Oh, they're sweet, aren't they? And then they're really easy to solve. So we've got two solutions for x. What are they? Write them down. X equals 11. Is he right? Yeah. 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 And x equals minus 6. Is he right? Yeah. Brilliant. Give him a round of applause. Well done. We've formed a quadratic equation and we've come up with two solutions. Now then, let's look at the flower beds. We've got x is 11 and x is minus 6. Here's the flower bed. OK, here are the measurements. So x is 11, so the length is going to be 11. Yeah, I'm happy with that, 11 metres. And the width is going to be y6. Yes? Because 11 minus 5 equals 6. Of course it does. So 11 metres, 6 metres gives us an area of? 66. 66 metres squared. Meters squared. squared. Um, what about the other solution? X is minus 6. Does that work? Does X equals minus 6 work? Yes. Well, it's the solution to the equation. But can we have a length of minus 6? No. No. So we have to use the sensible solution to fit the problem of my flower bed. So there ends our journey through equations. We've looked at some linear equations, which always ended up with one solution. We also looked at some harder equations, some quadratic equations, which ended up with two, two. solutions. Two. Solutions. Remember, when we've got equations, what we do to the left-hand side... Right. OK, make sure you enjoy your equations and get the right balance. Yeah.